Nine Dudes and Dude Asses, boy, to me, MWG, bringing you week number 10 of Mongo Renzo TVs. And as always, I'm joined by America's favorite left nut, the Kamish, on the desk today, as always. And we have a great episode lined up. <laughs> Another new another new guest coming in. Yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. Another new guest. I think other all but is everyone besides Bilo been out or after this episode everyone with Bilo. I guess yeah, everyone sure. with Bilo. <laughs> um, speaking of which, Bilo, you need to get back here. One, we miss you, and two, we need you on, on the on the video. And take your little Malort shot as well. Yeah, take the shot. You um, can't run. You can run, but you can't hide. Well, I had a good week last week too. I am on a three game losing streak. Yeah, well, you just handed me over another win last yep. week. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But we're not here to talk about the past because we get to go again this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to settle up again against you this week. But without further ado, it's time to introduce our guest. Sitting at the, uh, the upper half of the league at 6 and 3, I believe. 6 and 3. Your yeah. rival. Yeah, my rival, the man who can suck my dick, LP. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Fantastic. Come on in. LP, welcome in. Welcome. Thank you very much. Making his YouTube first appearance, his debut. How you feeling today? I feel like I'm losing my YouTube virginity. That's great. Also, talk a little louder. We, we need to hear you. All right, all right, all right. There you go. There you go. That's good. That's good. That's, That's good. work. Newbie right here. <laughs> all right. So we're right off the river. We're going to hop into our blackout bold predictions. And... We're gonna have a lot of contradictions on the desk today. My blackout bull prediction is gonna be that that Seattle is gonna score 50 points on Monday night against the San Francisco 49ers. Their their lossless season is over. <coughs> Enough said. If you say so. So I, I have the exact opposite approach to this bull take. <laughs> Two of them, Caesar and Russell Wilson at QB, which you rightfully should, but. Yeah. I think that Florida Niners defense is going to be too much for him to handle, and I think Russell Wilson is going to score less than 18 points for fantasy this week. That's a lie. That's my bold take. I mean, I feel like we're both being a little biased based on who we're playing, <laughs> exactly. we're playing against. Yeah, absolutely, but that's what happens in fantasy football. Exactly. Oh, All right, well, I'm just going to say big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games, so yeah. assuming okay. I like oh, yeah. that prediction there, Let's but go. I'm going to go away from that game. Todd Gurley, less than five points this week. Put him on your benches. Who are they playing? The Steelers? Yeah. Okay, I like. I, I, yeah, the Steelers, I, Steelers are, decent. The Steelers are decent people, seriously. Yeah, they're very solid. They have a solid good. defense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say solid, but not yeah. bad. Well, think about the offense they have, and they're still winning games. Their defense has yeah. to be fair. Somehow, yeah. Devin Maybe Bush. Good opportunities. Devin least. Bush is an absolute man, ma madman. He's a speed demon out there, but he needs a haircut. Oh, my God. <laughs> man, he has like a 10 foot schlong on the back of his head. True. <laughs> well. <laughs> Two, should we head into the matchup? Yeah, let's do it. I'm just going to say right off the bat, <laughs> matchup of the week, me v. Bryce, number two. Yeah, v, so volume two. If you're wondering what's going on with the league, we're playing each other again. So this is week ten. There's ten people in the league, so you've played all nine people already. So these last, was it, three, four weeks, you're going to have a chance to play four random people in the league, and it just so happened that... Uh, we're going back, back to back. One, and he's my first of the randoms <laughs> that I pick up. And I am not... I couldn't be happier, I to say the least. I not be more pissed. I'm already on a three-game losing streak. <laughs> it's about to be four. We're, we're, about to, we're about to repeat what we said last week. I mean, quarterback matchup, Russell Wilson going up against... I can't even fucking see. Rogers. Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers! <laughs> uh, Devontae Freeman is back from his bye week. So I'm, I'm looking forward to him going up against New Orleans. We'll see what happens there. That could be either hot not, or not. Not. Hot or not. Definitely not. But, you know, I'll let you live that life. But to be honest, I, I don't want to talk about this matchup. You can talk about it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> shit my pants a little bit. Not to say it again, but we won't go back there. But I don't love what I had to do this week with wide receiver. You know, I had T.Y. go down and Hopkins is on by. I don't like that Devontae Parker is my number two wide receiver. Hunter, Hunter Henry needs a fucking touch right yeah. now. He well, has no points. It's, it's still early in that game. We're halfway through, about most of the way through the first quarter of this Thursday sure. night game as we record. So there's plenty of time for Melvin and Hunter there. All right. All right. <laughs> but I uh, say so we move on to the next matchup. I think, all right, next matchup we're going to hop into oh, is yeah. going LP going up against Mitch. Oh, Lord. What are you thinking, LP? How you all right, doing? well, this is kind of embarrassing because I'm starting Todd Gurley right now, people. I'm like starting can, my sit of the week, but, but I got no other options. But the thing is, Tyler gave you the trade that you're going to win the league. He pretty much handed you the championship. I did get Lamar Jackson last week. He handed it to me. very nice. You did. You saw um, what he did against the Patriots. 
He's yeah, he looks exactly very better good. than it was incredible. However, um, I don't know when you're going to do this, but Matthew Stafford won't stay in there. I think he's going to start Patrick Mahomey. He's going to be back in this week. That's going to be a problem, LP. <coughs> he's going to have a triumphant return. We all know it. Mitch's, Mitch's running gold boner is the fattest one that I know. Right, and God, his his running backs are just so solid all the time. And his only like wavering point being Mark Ingram, he's playing Cincinnati this week. So he's wow. going to be on fire as well. So. LP, you could uh, you could be running up against a pretty high scoring team this week. Hey, hey, I'm not afraid. I'm on a winning streak. I'm not afraid. We are. We are winning this week, no matter what. All right, going into the next matchup, we have C Mac going up against B Lo. Matchup of the week. <laughs> matchup of the week for you. Okay. Yeah, hey, I've been right. loving having B Lo my matchup of the weeks. I think. Uh, He's had some fairly easy games to go up against. He a lot of tough breaks. A lot of tough breaks. breaks. It's it's not easy being below. It's okay because right now C Max got negative points because Big Papa Philly's not necessarily putting up the game he did last week against the Packers. But uh, we'll see how that turns out. But I think Belo can win this week. Yeah, I can definitely see that happening. Um, <laughs> I I do like the Marlon Max start against Miami. I think that's he's gonna get a ton of points out of him this week. Uh, you know, Kalen Balaj is probably not going to be so hot. Yeah, I did I would, see that. I, I wouldn't know. worry so much. I mean, realistically, I don't think C-Max team is going to really do that much. LeSean McCoy against Tennessee is tough. <laughs> and his, his wide receivers just really aren't that good. I mean, Kenny G is a stud, but you can't really start Golden Tate and GJ, DJ Moore. They might as well be on the waivers. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather have Bilo win this one because C-Max coming for my playoff spot. I cannot ooh. believe I'm saying that, but C-Max is coming for my playoff spot. It's about that time. <laughs> I it's cannot believe it. it. The grind for the playoffs oh, has already begun, Oh yeah. but it hasn't gotten heated yet. I'm hanging on to my tiptoes in that sixth spot. Yeah. Well, you want to move on to uh, the New York... <laughs> Tim and Toilet. Rivalry Tim week! And Toilet. Rivalry week! Rivalry week part two. <laughs> Rivalry week. Tim, Toilet. it doesn't get better than this. The most long-lasting rivalry in this of all league. Time. Of all time, ever ever since the freshman year, these two have just been going at it. I can't wait for them to butt heads this week. Uh, Tyler sitting in second place, and Tim sitting in in uh, ninth. I could really use a Tim win this. I week. could also use a Tim. I win. think Tyler, we're all rooting against you, Tim. This is the first time we're saying it. Good luck. <laughs> we actually hope you do well this week. That's the first time he's saying that. First of all, Tim, yeah. you know I've had your back for a little bit, but uh, what's the fun in, in having other people's backs in this league? It's a dog, it's, not Tim. It's a doggy dog world out here. I mean, it's it's tough with Timbo on the other end. With Tyler league. giving the league away to LP, he has forced to start Dak Prescott against Minnesota, and that that's a little sketch. It's just those California boys. They just never get it. I just never understood their lifestyle. So Tim, you out in LA all the time. You, I just I just can't really root for you. But I will this week. You want to move on to the next one? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Last we've got Corey. Going up against Mike. Do you know uh, Tim and T or Tim and Tyler's wager? Not yet. Okay, all right. Uh, <coughs> redo that and Was it a slap in the face? I don't. I don't. I don't fucking know. All right, we're moving on to the next matchup. The final matchup. We got Corey going up against Mike. All right, Corey v Mike. I like the matchup a lot. We got Jared Goff going against Josh Allen. Uh, the matchups are okay. Going against Pittsburgh. Uh, Steelers have an okay defense, but our, the Rams are coming off a bye week, right? Yes. I don't think they played last week, so I think they'll be coming out hot. Uh, they're <coughs> going to have some fresh legs. They're not going to be tired. Uh, I see Jared Goff going off. Right now, uh, Corey also has Ty, or T, is that Tyrell Williams? Who's T. Williams? Yeah, that's Tyrell Williams. Tyrell Tyrell Williams and Darren open. Waller right now. This is like, right now. Yeah. this is a trash fantasy game tonight. You know, well, it's, it's, it's still well, early. It's still, still early. fine, but this this is just a trash fantasy week in general. There's six teams on bot. That just it's it's tough out here to find the right guys to sit and start. The waiver wire has been crammed, and there aren't really any good people. It's it's hard to have a good roster, as you can see. Most of the benches are all on bot. It's just kind of a dog shit week for fantasy football, but it's going to be a very impactful week for fantasy football for uh, the playoff situation. Yeah. Hashtag no fun week. <laughs> Basically. Um, unless you're playing tombs like me. <laughs> okay. Hey. Relax, buddy. You got, got them jabs. Relax. Relax. All right. All right. 
All right, now we're going to hop into our waiver wire pickups of the week. <coughs> and uh, LP, why don't you kick us off here? All right, so of the Rams, Josh Reynolds. Pick this man up. I know he's Who playing the against fuck the Steelers. All right, Brandon Cooks, probably not going to play. He's injured. Okay. He's Josh blended. Reynolds, next man up. He's going to fill in that slot very nicely. He's going to get you a safe 10 points. Maybe he'll get a touchdown. Hell, it's Jared Goff. It's the Rams. You never know. Sean McVay. You never know. And well, all I know and it, he's available in almost every single league. All I know is Jerry Goff and games. Cooper Cup connection will never be broken, and that's the, Cooper Cup right, yeah. twenty receptions. They can both. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be tough for Josh Rhodes to get his touches this week. I don't disagree, Tombs, but uh, I'm going to go with AJ Brown, a guy who I think is going to have a lot more opportunity okay. for uh, Tennessee. There, uh, Corey Davis should be out this week, or at least Fuck he's going to be Corey dealing with some injury. Every time I start him, he's gotten less than two points. A.J. Brown's just an athletic freak. I think he's going to get his worth this week, and he's going to get his touches, and I think he's going to be a fine start for a flex or a third wide receiver. All right. That, my <laughs> way of our opinion actually contradicts that a little bit, because Tennessee is going to go Kansas City's defense, baby. True. Uh, I, Kansas City's defense is not historically great, but they might have... A good week against Tennessee. Not one of the best offenses, but Ryan Tannehill has been playing okay. But I expect Kansas City to hold their own on the defensive side, even though Mahomes is going to put up 50 points as well. Yeah. And you never know. They might need a Tyreek touchdown at some point, some special teams action there. They, they, they've got all kinds of opportunities to score oh. as a defense. It doesn't matter if they need it. It's just when. It's when it happens. Exactly. It doesn't matter. First of all, relating to our last waiver wire picks of the week, if you do not Ooh. remember... We all picked kickers and had a little wager. Uh, I had see. I had fucking Dan Dipshit Bailey. Uh, you had Matt Gay and Corey had Stephen Hauschka. Hey, hey, and Dan Bailey missed a fucking extra point, which dropped me down to two points. And I would have been tied with Corey at seven. Nice little minus five with my boy Matt. Yeah, rip. Gay. Rest, rest, rest in he's, peace. He's amazing. Rest in peace to two me and double G. So I'm going to have to jump in the snow whenever it snows. Again. He's gonna have those frosty nips. Frosty nips are gonna be cutting the ice when I jump in. Nice and hard for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we are gonna hop into the bad star of the week, and I'm just gonna take the reins on this one. This man is is no stranger to the show. He's been flopped around. Good star of the week, bad star of the week, waiver wire pick of the week. It is Jason Witten on <laughs> Mitch's team. I'm pretty sure he's the sluttiest tight end of the league. I started been, at one point. He's, he's been hopping around. Yeah, I, I, had him, I, I picked him up off the waiver, started him, dropped his ass. Bryce picked him up, started him a week, dropped him. Now it's Mitch's turn to rue the day with Jason Witten. Just getting tossed around. Yeah, just, just like a fucking so many bad jokes. Like a fucking hot potato. Yeah, well, my bad start of the week. Corey, I'm coming at you again. Kenyon Drake. Why? David Johnson's coming back this week. He's going to be full participant. Yeah. He already said that he wants the full workload. He's the number one running back on that team. He gets all the touches. <coughs> He's been with the system for three years. Kenny's been with there for a week. Kenny Drake's not going to do what he did last week. That was just all opportunity. He's not going to have the opportunity this week. DJ's, DJ's the start here. Kenyon Drake okay. sucks. Cool. Even though Kenyon Drake broke Kenyon like Drake. all of his fucking career single game <laughs> records in one game, it doesn't mean that he's going to consistently perform like that. So I agree. No. Mm -hmm. LP. All right, so going off that, my best start would be Larry Fitzgerald. Ooh. Don't be tempted by the matchup. He has been replaced by Christian Kirk at this point. Everybody knows he's a first half of the season player, and then he falls off. He's hit that point already. Don't get fooled by the matchup. Leave him on the benches. <coughs> All right, sounds good, LP. Good analysis. I like yeah, that. I like that. I dig that. All right, well, now we're going to move into the pickles for this week. And last week... Corey, uh, he had just out, Tombs. He went 9-5. and five. Yeah, he had a good week. I'll give it to him. <laughs> I agree. I went 8-6. Uh, and six, You know, stayed positive there. But unfortunately, Tombs, 6-8 and eight last week. <laughs> yeah, it was a very rough week. We're having playing the spread, and I just can't pick a fucking winner to save my life. Nope. So, uh, Still above 500, though, <laughs> thankfully. Yep, overall totals, I'm at 65-50. and 50. Tombs are at 61-52. and 52. And uh, we're moving on from there. Okay. Yeah. Raiders Chargers. So we made these picks before the game started, so I feel like it should definitely count. Uh, I have Raiders. I, I No, no, that's a lie. I have Chargers. <laughs> you know, I, have Chargers. Oh, I have the Raiders. I'm swapping my pick. I'm swapping my pick. It's 10-0. I believe the Raiders are up 10-0, so I'm feeling 
Not not great, but pretty good over here. Well, you should. Well, like, you're you're not picking a team that's losing by ten. No, I, I feel better than you do for sure. Yeah. But it is uh, it is those Raiders, and I just don't trust anything that they got in their organization. LP, who you got? Chargers, Raiders. Uh, being <laughs> unbiased, I thought the Chargers were gonna take this one. I still think that it's really early in the game. I like. That. No need to panic. The Chargers are hot right now. They will pick it up. All right. Giants, Giants at the Jets. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, that was pretty much insane if I would have followed through with that. True. But, uh, I, man, the Jets look like a complete dog. <coughs> shit. Le'Veon Bell's not happy. He's not going to play well because of his emotions. Not happy. Sam Darnold is a thumb, and the Giants are going to win. Daniel Jones, Saquon, can't be beat. Yeah, Tim Miley and uh, Saquon are going to dominate again this week. I got the Giants as well. Tim <laughs> Why not go against the grind? Why not pick Sam Darnold? This man, sucks. he sucks. Well, we'll, we'll see. Who, we'll, hey, we'll see who's right. All right. You will see who's right. You're gonna take the Jets, LP? Yeah, why not? All right, live and die. Falcons, Saints. They're both terrible. Saints, Saints. Uh, wait. Uh, Falcons? You want the Falcons? Falcons in Saints. New Orleans? You want the Falcons? I'm a Panthers fan, man. I gotta root against the grind here. You're a okay. Panthers fan? Yes. Since when? Since a while. Okay. Okay. I, I have no clue. Don't worry about it. So you're really gonna take the <laughs> in New Orleans? Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm going the week. Chiefs in Tennessee. I got the Chiefs. Patrick uh, Mahomes. Yeah, back. Chiefs. Uh, their defense is going to lock up Tennessee. <coughs> Patrick Mahomes is just going to start come out slain after that. Do it, LP. Is he for sure back? Uh, he was full participant in practice today. Practice at 100. percent Then why not go for the boy, Pat Mahomes? All right, Chiefs. <coughs> Ravens in Cincinnati. Ravens, Bengals still have one game. It's going to be tough up against the team that just <laughs> shut up, just lit up New England. Cincinnati is a hot load of garbage. <laughs> My right-headed brother in Andy Dalton hasn't done shit all year. They should definitely start his backup. They are. They are. Good shit. They, they are. Some they are. Changes. I'm going uh, Ravens. The backup's not going to get it done. Ravens. No. All right. Bills in Cleveland. I'll take Buffalo. Buffalo Bills. Bills Mafia stand up, baby. Yep. yep. Cardinals in right, Tampa Bay. This is going to be, <clears throat> in my mind, the most productive fantasy game all week. Yeah, I'm excited for this game. I, I like this matchup a lot. I know. I love it. Two quarterbacks. Young. Well, Jameis is not exactly young anymore, but these two guys are going to sling it all over the field. Pretty high-powered offense. Pretty shit defenses. I can't wait. Bryce, I'm going to go with your favorite team here. I'm going with the Bucks. Tampa Bay. I'm actually taking Arizona this week. No, you're not. I'm going against both, or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What? I want. Oh, man. I, I'm going for what? Arizona. I think Arizona's going to win. In your pickups, you really have Bucks right here. Yeah, well, I'm changing it in my head right now. For He's this. changing it. On <laughs> I'm not changing, changing it on for here. you. I'm changing it the for fans. the fans. Because I think Arizona is going to win. Bears, Lions. Wait, 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 wait. I had a whole thing planned out too. Okay, go ahead. Chris wants to the crab legs out there. The crab legs. Let's go. Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay will easily take this. All right. As you already said, Lions and Bears. I want Detroit here. I don't want the Bears. I don't think they're going to win a single game the rest of the season. What? Okay. First of all, the Bears are coming back and making it to the playoffs in the wild card spot. Maybe I'm just baiting you to pick the Bears, Tubes. No, I, I had the Bears before, you, before you've been talking shit. That was a mistake. Nope, not at all. Bear, bear down, baby. I'll say give it, give it, give me the Lions because they lost Carry On Jackson, <coughs> no run game. So the Bears defense got me all over the pass. You said a running game, we'll get it done. I think you said Lions. Yeah. What? You said Lions because Carry On's out. Yes. And the Bears are gonna. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bears are gonna get it done. Is what I'm saying. But so you want to pick? You're picking the Bears. Or yes. You're the bears? Okay. Okay. Picking the Bears. Okay. Picking the Bears. Right, okay. You stupid. <laughs> I'm picking the Bears. My bad. All right. Dolphins <laughs> at the Colts. Colts. Right. Easy. Dry Colts. Wait, you take the Colts. Dolphins. No. In Indianapolis. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's Jacoby. Jacoby's back, right? He didn't get hurt that bad. No, Jacoby will be fine. And even uh, I think Marlon Mack himself could take down the Dolphins, yeah. even though. It's magic's a god. Moving on, we got Panthers in Green Bay. Ooh, I got. Fuck this the is a hard one. Fuck the pack, but I got the pack. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. LP, Panthers connection, baby. Let's go. All right, no, I'm winning out. I'm taking. I'm taking the Packers here. Uh, Rams yes. and Pittsburgh. Traveling a long way. I'm a 
My second favorite team is the Steelers, but they're a hot... Not a hot load of garbage. They've been kind of winning every now and then. I'll give you a little support. I'm going to take the Steelers here. I think that's. Uh, I think the Rams are a great home team, but a dog shit away team, I don't think. They got long to travel. The only problem was I never said I was picking the Steelers. I'm picking the Rams here. I'm picking right, the Rams. Good. I, I love when we go back and forth. Yeah. I, I, I'm taking the Steelers here. Okay. LP? I'm taking the Steelers as well. All right. Vikings in Dallas. How about them Cowboys? I'm going Cowboys. You like that? You like that? You like that? <laughs> you like that? Yeah, LP, I don't know. I was hoping you'd go first so you can give me a little... Alright, I was going to go Vikings. You are going to go Vikings? Yeah. I don't know. I, it's, it's This is going to be a primetime game for Kirk Cousins. He sucks in primetime. I'm taking the Cowboys, the boys. All right, oh, Seattle. I know it's prime time. Yeah, it's prime time, so that'll be. Uh, All right, well, you know what? I'll start with the Viking because I said the that. Viking. Yeah, but love them Vikings. Oh yeah, love them Vikings, man. <laughs> love them Vikings. All right, and finally Monday night, Seattle in San Francisco. So Bryce, your bold prediction was Russ scoring less than eighteen. Yes. And less you than had 18. the Seahawks as your pick. That was a while ago, okay? It's locked in. It doesn't fucking matter. Think, well, that's locked, but, but what I yes. say on this show is I, not I locked. I guess you're right. I'm exposing you live on national television. Oh, television. shit. You are exposing Right here. <laughs> I've made that uh, pick, I made that pick on that yeah, Tuesday. Anybody. I got the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. Yeah, Russ is going to go off. 49ers are lossless no more. Yeah, why not? Let's go with the future MVP. That's right. Wilson. Fair enough. Well, I've been really silent in this league yeah. for a reason. For a reason. I let my team do the talking. I let Lamar Jackson now do the talking. You just got Lamar Jackson. Yeah, yeah no. Todd Gurley, Todd Gurley has been letting Hey, Todd Gurley has been walking the walk, talking the talk up until right now. Hmm. Is this a bad start this week, Todd Gurley? Yeah, he's been bad, <laughs> like, but like up until now. Like, okay. like, Alright, well, whatever. I'm going to talk shit to someone else, not just give it to yourself. You fuck know, you, Bryce. Right, go ahead and talk shit. Go fuck you, Bryce. Shit. You're not beating me two weeks in a row. If you do, I'm going to feel so much shame that I'm probably not going to make the playoffs. It's going to be very depressing. <laughs> Tim, here's the thing. I want you to make the playoffs. I know. Because I, I don't want Mike to make the playoffs. No, if, as long as Mike is not in the playoffs. As long as I get a playoff spot, I'll be fine. As long as C-Mac, as long as C-Mac, Tim, B-Lo, and Mike stay below me, no. then I'm gold. Tim. Easy dub. If, if you're watching, that. Mitch, easy dub. He's watching. Oh, he is? Oh, he is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, time. easy dub right here. I'm, hey, I, I might be the underdog, but I'm still going to get that dub. I think the big dog's going to eat. Mm -hmm. Am I a big dog streak right here? No. Oh, all right. Big chill. Big chill. I'm going to chill out I, all I, weekend I'm long. I'm going to chill the whole season. You know, I, I'm just going to ride the wave. Whatever my players do, they do, you know? Fair yeah, that, that's that's true. Whatever they're gonna do, I'm that's not what they stressing do. about it. Right. Six well, uh, three, not bad. I guess at this point, tune in next week to see depressed two Meyer. Uh, it's gonna be a very unenergetic two me next week. I have to expect. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna expect full on action, fully energetic. Cause I'm kicking Bryce's ass. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hungover Red Zone Tees. Let's have a great week ten in the NFL. LP. It's been an honor, man. Uh, great to have you on the desk. A lot of fun. Show me some love. But lots, of, lots of great analysis from LP. Yeah, um, subscribe. I swear to God, I'll come to your house. <laughs> subscribe down below. Join the two pages in the name. Drop a comment. Drop a like. Drop any punishments you would want to say on this channel. The two nation. The two nation, baby. The two nation. The two nation. All day, baby. I said that number. So give me a Sexual. I am a homosexual because the two nation. The two nation. Jesus. That's great.